Hey, how's it going, everyone? You're watching Nostalgic Reviews, and uh, this is a beautiful freaking Porsche. And uh, we're gonna do this review real quick, and uh, this is heavy uh, on both weight-wise and uh, emotional level. Uh, this is basically was the last build from uh, the Hoonigan situation with uh, Ken Block. Um, hence the little ghost-like figure with 43 on there. Not gonna go in too much into that. Uh, those of you who are fans or were fans, uh, you know what's going on. But, um, yeah, so this is basically what they were working on, uh, right before, um, Ken Block's, uh, untimely, uh, passing. I believe, uh, uh snowmobile accident but um let's have a look at this beautiful porsche uh it has a unique name uh that's hard for me to like say it's Hune, <laughs> Hune pegasus <laughs> kind of like the unicorn uh mustang uh this is the Hune pegasus and uh i think his uh his daughter might be uh, giving it a shot these days racing this bad boy so not sure Kind of stopped following too much of the Hoonigan stuff after his passing and after all the employees kind of uh, pieced out. I don't know what's going on, but I know that I think the company was sold uh, to another like tire company or something. I don't know. They're doing they're doing something else now. So um, this is freaking awesome. This thing is amazingly beautiful. Um, the shade of pink is amazing. Uh, let me first of all uh, say a huge thanks to uh, Diecast Creepo, who uh, provided me with this uh, beautiful casting to review for you guys. Um, if you're interested in uh, purchasing this, I'm not sure if he still has any. He might have sold out. Uh, but regardless, check out DiecastCreepo.com right there right here <laughs> uh if you purchase anything uh use my code nostalgic and you'll get 15 percent off so uh hit him up uh he's an amazing dude he's a collector first and foremost he's a car guy uh goes to car shows and displays his beautiful uh bmw with his girlfriend lana who has a beautiful mustang and they're just an awesome couple uh period uh, check her out also on uh, Whatnot, um, Mustang Queen, and uh, and uh, Vic is uh, also on <laughs> Whatnot as uh, Diecast Creepo. So check them out, guys. Remember that nostalgic code. Uh, and uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's uh, slide this out of the little uh, very fancy pink packaging. So again, this is top model. Uh, from what it says here, all trademark rights reserved. So this is a fully licensed uh, model. Man. Man, we lost so many good people in the last couple of years. Anyway, so here you go. There's a little insert in case you uh, want to put this in your display case behind the car. I think that's what that's for, the reason why it's removable. Wow. I love the little acrylic case. I have two screws on the bottom there. Let's get this out of the thing. Get it out of the thing, man. We don't need the thing. Alright, let's get a little closer here. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're totally taking this off the base. We gotta take a look at it. I love this white, like, sliver or slab of some kind of white acrylic, which look how, like, the Toyo tires reflect on that. See that a little bit? I love it. So this bad boy is limited to basically 1,000, so 999. Uh, my number is 343. Pretty cool number. Uh, oh my goodness, that is a extremely detailed little windshield wiper. I don't even want to touch that. 
Oh, what a cool freaking car. This model is amazing, guys. Oh, look at that. DBI Autosport. Wow. Look at those little red translucent taillights right there. Loving this Wayne. This thing's huge, man. <laughs> that is a freaking like an, an inch and a half. God, that is huge. Love the detail on the inside. I see some pink in there. See the clusters. Steering wheel is awesome. I love the mobile one livery. Um, you know how like a lot of people have their preference of uh, like gas gas station liveries. Mine is mobile. Uh, some people like Shell. Some people like uh, whatever, man. Um, yeah, I'm all about the mobile. Uh, ever since I was a kid, maybe because like I was uh, kind of growing up in Canada, there was a lot of mobile stations there. You don't see too many of them these days. Uh, but yeah, love that. So we have beautiful clear headlights right there. Wow. Can we focus on them? Thanks, camera. I appreciate it. <laughs> Porsche 911 Hune Pegasus. <laughs> so let's have a look at the top here. Got the 43 Ghost. Got Ken Block's name right there. Hoonigan Racing right there. Sorry guys, I'm like... I review a lot of models. I collect a lot of models. Um, I don't collect a lot of Porsche, uh, but recently I've had a lot of Porsches enter my collection. And to be honest with you, I, I'm picking up like the better ones. Uh, this one's definitely on top. All right, let me uh, gently, very gently unscrew this because that mirror, the windshield wiper right there, that thing is, uh, is that even, it's a separate piece, man. That is, are you kidding me? I don't know if I can even zoom in that much. You see that thing? Look at that. That is a separate little bit on the windshield. That is insane. Wow. Love the wing. Is that a little, a little scraper there? Well, that's done by the manufacturer. As you can see, that's under the clear coat. That's not a problem at all. Wow. Okay, let's uh let's take this off. We need to we need to have a look at this bad boy. <laughs> okay, let's go into uh hyper speed. Okay. Nice little sandwich. Okay. Got two screws here. Get rid of those. Oh my god. Like nice, nice weighty, weighty thing here. Uh the base is plastic. It's quite alright with me. Uh the wheels do turn. They're spinny, spinny wheelsies. Cool. They're not like hot wheels rollers, but you know. Yeah, these rub a little bit. But they do spin, they're not just seized in there, you know what I mean? Man, that is cool. That is <laughs> I don't even know what to say to you guys other than, man, this is cool. Just moving those up for display reasons. I like them like that. Just trying to do my best not to mess with the freaking... Look at that. The windshield wiper. <laughs> what 
Well, anyway, so that's that's your review, really. Uh, not much else I can tell you other than this is awesome. I highly recommend it. Definitely check out diecastcrepo.com if you're into any any of this stuff. Uh, they actually have a ton of Porsches on there, so if you're a Porsche guy, that's the place for you. But they have a lot of like uh, JDM, you know, the R34s, all all the good popular stuff that you want, and some rare stuff that some people don't have. So definitely check them out. And uh, yeah, Vic, thanks, man. This is amazing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. <sighs> Beautiful, man. All right. See you all in the next video, man. I'm done. Peace. Mm -hmm.